What's going on everybody? I am here at the beautiful Sunset Memorial Cemetery where none other than famous 1950s actress Ava Gardner is buried. And I don't know why it took me so long to find this. Look at all the flowers. You'd almost think she was just laid to rest here. But her family is here with her. And she was, uh, she was, she started acting in the 1940s, but really came in, uh, really got popular in the 50s and became a leading actress. Um, she was in Snows of the Kilimanjaro. She was in The Killers with Burt Lancaster. She played his love interest. Uh, uh, she was also married to three different men in her lifetime, one being Mickey Rooney, didn't last very long in the early 40s, then jazz musician Artie Shaw for about a year, and then she was married to Frank Sinatra, and that lasted about five or six years, and she d did say that Frank Sinatra was the love of her life, and she really, really thought a lot of him. But, uh, yeah, I, I looked it up and I did know, I said, I know she's by the sidewalk because I did my research, you know, and I didn't want to be looking forever. She was also portrayed by Kate Beckinsale in the Martin Scorsese film, The Aviator, about uh, the life of Howard Hughes, which, of course, Leo DiCaprio, Leonardo DiCaprio was in. I remember there's a scene where they're getting rammed by uh, Howard, one of Howard Hughes' girlfriend's cars and she's ramming their car and she's all, Ava Gardner's real, so mad and yelling at Howard and, and uh, so I guess she was linked up with Howard Hughes for a little bit, they dated, uh, so she dated, uh, she dated other men, I mean, but she was married to the three men I mentioned. So she is from the Smithfield. It's strange you'd think she'd be buried in Hollywood, but I guess, you know, for whatever reason, well, she, maybe she wanted to be with, laid to rest with her family. And there's the main gardener headstone, and there's flowers that, there um, as well. Beautiful trees, magnolia trees on each side. But, uh, you know, she was born in a, uh, a, a little town not far from here. I think Grab, Grabtown, North Carolina, something like that. And, and not, you know, so she grew up in, pretty much in this area, the Smithfield area. And uh, she went to Atlantic, Atlantic Christian College, if, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so that's that's so crazy though. I've only done about uh, about three famous graves, you know, her for uh, Fra uh Red Fox and then uh Francis Bavier played Aunt B. And she died in London. I forgot to mention that. So born here in North Carolina, died in London, and, and then her, uh, her body was brought back here. You know, she was in her late 60s, though. I mean, I guess... We... I, think, I think maybe, uh, uh, you know, she was a longtime smoker, and that may have been the reason, but... But nevertheless, you know, she, I mean, back then, I guess, well, 1990, I mean, it wasn't that long ago, but. You know, Hollywood actors, they, they live a different life, you know? And I don't know, I don't know if she partied hard with all these people, but she was a starlet. I mean, she was a 1950s, 40s and 50s starlet. And um, I mean, acted into the 60s too. And, And uh, as long as she could do it, as long as she could get roles, she did it.